Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here in the Borderlands universe. Today we are back for part 42 of our uh, never ending search for Easter Eggs and Secrets within the Borderlands games. Um, so this is the series where I take you through each of the three games, Borderlands 1, 2 and the pre-sequel, and pick out a relevant uh, Easter egg or secret that is in there and uh, then just bring you guys in a bit more detail and explain what it is referencing and uh, any more information that you may need to know on that. So we've got three more great Easter eggs for you guys today. Hopefully there's some in there that you didn't know about. So without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So starting off in Borderlands 1 today, we are here and uh, we're actually going to be shooting some racks. Uh, there is an achievement to uh, shoot a certain amount of racks in a certain amount of time uh, which we'll be doing right now. I'll be showing you the uh, the actual uh, achievement in a second once I've taken these guys down. Um, there's not many places in Borderlands 1 where you can actually uh, shoot a lot of racks in succession for this achievement but uh, this first area is the easiest uh, over here. So the achievement is actually Rootinist, Tootinist, Shootinist uh, and uh, that is actually referencing um, the Warner Brothers character Yoza Meet Sam. Uh, this is the achievement right here. You got to kill five rack in under ten seconds. Um, but yeah, Yoza Meet Sam introduces himself thusly as I'm the rootinest, tootinest, shootinest, bobtailed wildcat in the West. Um, very famous line from him right there, and uh, that is what that achievement is all about. So I'll show you a little clip of that right now. Right, on to Borderlands 2 then. We are here in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep uh, DLC. And uh, we're going to be listening for the quotes that come out of uh, the vending machines, um, Zed's vending machines, when you're going in and out of them. Uh, and we're going to be looking for one in particular, which is coming up right now. There it is. Have fun storming the tower. So this is actually from the film The Princess Bride. Um, and uh, it's actually a nod to Miracle Max's comment in the film where he says, Have fun storming the castle when he sends off Indigo, Fesnik and Westley. Uh, so that is what that is from right there. As always, I'll show you a little bit of a clip right now just so you guys can see what it's all about. And finally, to the pre-sequel, we're here in Triton Flats at the Darksiders Tower. Um, I'll show you a little map reference of where we're going right now. Now, although this is the Darksiders Tower, pay close attention to the top of the screen right now. The area this is located is actually called the Grabber. Uh, now, this is actually referencing the Brisbane Cricket Ground, uh, which is commonly known as the Gabba. It's a major sports stadium in Brisbane the capital of Queensland, Australia. Uh, the nickname Gabba actually derives from the suburb of Walloon Gabba in which it is actually located. So uh, this being an Australian made game from 2K Australia, there's plenty of uh, Australian references and Easter eggs in this game and that is just another one right there, naming that area after the place of the, uh, the very famous cricket ground. So uh, that is the Easter egg uh, from Borderlands the pre-sequel today. So there you go guys, that is three more great easter eggs for you today. Uh, we got the Yosa Meet Sam uh, easter egg, the Princess Bride and the Gabba um, Cricket Ground in Australia. Hopefully there's a couple in there that you didn't know about. If you knew about all three of them then uh, good on you. Uh, but hopefully if you uh, click on the link in the description below there is a playlist for the other 41 easter egg and secrets guides as well in there. Uh, so if you want to check some of them out and see if there's any in there that you do not know about and as always if there's any that you want me to cover that you think I might not know about drop them down in the comments below and I'll look into them. Anyway, thank you for watching. That was another Easter egg and secrets guide here on Borderlands Universe. Thank you guys for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.